Welcome back, everyone. We're taking a look at some of the calls of the day today. Let's start things off with AMZN, Amazon. JP Morgan is recommending investors buy Amazon on FedEx weakness, citing a competitive element between the e-commerce giant and shipping company after FedEx withdrew its 2023 guidance here. Um, and FedEx, particularly what they had seen is global volumes decline, macroeconomic trends significantly worsen later in the quarter. Coincidentally here, JP Morgan saying Amazon's seller conference ongoing for two days, heavily focusing on new features for buy with Prime. And that Prime delivery has really been where Amazon leans into and the ability to deliver almost in real time after somebody makes an order. And they typically do see more frequency of orders, more tickets or a higher ticket from some of the Amazon Prime subscribers. And it's really just going to come down to the logistical element and how they're able to take on either more just in time delivery options or uh, just that last mile really going to be leaned on at, at least in this point in time. But um, JP Morgan seemed a little bit more um, a little bit more bullish. I was trying to come up with a good pun on Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe this you know. morning from FedEx is really the first time where the market starts to take seriously the efforts they are doing uh, on the logistics front, at least as it pertains to FedEx and UPS and their operations. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a company uh, over the past year that has invested billions of dollars in, in trucks, manufacturing capacity. It is very clear, in airplanes, I should say, it's very clear that Amazon wants to control its own future from the logistics front so it can try to bring down its costs. So it's investing today to bring down those costs over time, and it may be coming at the expense of FedEx. Yeah. Several positive comments around the consumer spending through those two weeks of conference here is what JP Morgan is noting. And for that last mile, they've certainly been investing, as you mentioned, billions of dollars to ensure that they can get prime packages or just regular packages over out to those consumers. As for me, I'm watching uh, Apple. Could call the day out of the folks, uh, Evercore, ISI, and meet Dariani. Uh, looking, uh, uh, we, I would say one of the latest notes on Apple post new iPhone launch, saying that demand looks strong. Analysts saying, quote, we think iPhones are poised to see a higher average selling price uplift versus expectations. In total demand is much stronger than expected. Uh, the analyst going on to note into the launch, there was a lot of fear on how demand would look in China and other uh, overseas economies, of course, Europe in there as well. But all things look to be pointing to a strong start to these iPhones. Uh, the analyst over at Evercore uh, reiterating an outperform in $185 price target on Apple. And the stock is down. The stock is down. Because tech is getting hit <laughs> once you, again today, uh, more so than other companies. Thank you, FedEx, but thank you also, like, the vibe this week is mm -hmm. just yeah. off, I yes. think, overall, because of not just FedEx, but all of those other companies that we talked about that have been cutting forecasts. Well, guess what? Thank you, FedEx, also, for less demand for container board. Ooh. Maybe thank you, Amazon, as well. Container board, indeed, is the focus of my call of the day. We're watching International Paper and also Packaging Corp of America. Jeffrey's downgrading both of those stocks to underperform, citing a massive inventory glut in container board. At the same time, the company's on the hold for Westrock, which is in the same industry, saying that that company is already depressed. The valuation is already depressed here. Um, container board demand, according to these analysts, is a proxy for the economy, which makes sense. And they've got cyclical end markets, so they see sharp corrections in a downturn. downturn orders for container board have softened over the last few months. Not surprising, the analysts say, because we, we've been seeing everywhere. As I said earlier in the show, if you're shipping less stuff, mm -hmm. you need less container board, container board to ship it in. Always a forward-looking indicator. I love this note. I'm glad you highlighted it. Thank you. Yeah. I like it as well. I mean, it's something it's that you don't think as much about. Mm -hmm. I should think about it because there is a box on my porch every <laughs> damn day. <laughs> what are you getting? No, what, any big orders lately? I mean, we're still doing a, a renovation, uh -huh. so there are ah. just things, <laughs> things just show up. <laughs> nice. Lights and switches and uh, I don't even know.